Well, good afternoon and welcome to another concert on San Diego's unique and historic Spreckles Outdoor Pipe Organ. My name is Dale Sorensen. I serve as your organ curator. For those of you that might be viewing the live stream for the first time, I'd point out that the organ and the building were a gift of the sugar heirs Adolph B. and John D. Spreckles. The organ was first played New Year's Eve, ushering in 1915 at the opening ceremonies of the Panama, California Exposition that was held here in Balboa Park. The organ has been in continuous use these past 105 years. The instrument was built by the Austin Organ Company of Hartford, Connecticut. When first installed, it contained 46 ranks. Now through subsequent additions, it contains 80 ranks or over 5,000 pipes. 
The largest pipes are 32 feet in length, the smallest about the size of a pencil, as this. Actually, this is all foot. This is the actual pipe at the top. There's a, you can almost see the little mouth underneath the tuning collar. If I come closer, perhaps you can. But there they are. We have pipes, many pipes the size of a pencil. Larger pipes carry better. Small pipes need many of them to carry the sound. These programs are presented throughout the year every Sunday afternoon by the City of San Diego Park and Recreation Department in cooperation with the Spreckles Organ Society. The Spreckles Organ Society is a grassroots group of volunteers that has come together to preserve, program, and promote this unique world treasure. If you would be here live on a Sunday afternoon, of course you'd hear the organ live. Today you'll be hearing it recorded, but such as conditions are these times, that's what we can do. If you're here live, you also have some gold boxes at the entrances where you can donate to assist the or Spreckles Organ Society in their work. The Spreckles Organ Society cooperates with the city to do what the city really cannot be expected to do in the way of programming and promoting and in securing a very, very fine civic organist. So we invite your donations online. If you're looking at the uh, spreckelsorgan.org website, if you go across the top in the various options, there's a little box you can click on that says donate, join. So we invite you to donate. There's a donate button and you can donate with credit card and snail mail works fine too. But you could also join the Spreckles Organ Society. We have members just about every state in the Union and many, many countries in the world that have caught the vision of John D. and Adolph Spreckles that we continue to promote today and be a part of that and make sure that it keeps happening. Uh, there are various levels you can donate at that starts from a, a lifetime membership of $5,000 and then goes down to a much, much smaller individual memberships. Today, our where's, where's Dale, where's Waldo? We're actually coming, I'm coming to you from the doorway between the swell division and the choir division. Those of you that have been here for our brunch tours, private concerts, going in the wind chest, you've been able to peek in to where we are. Not actually this, this is the, the, the middle chamber that if you look in the doors at either end, you can see that, oh yeah, there's a middle chamber. Well, this is it. This is the swell division, the largest enclosed division. I just calculated there are 1,679 pipes in here. The lower chests are all the original things. Uh, those were filled by the Austin company. And then we have added things above. To my left here is the overhead chest, actually built by Austin and put in in 1988, containing the swell Fort Fort Clarion and the four-rank Scharf. On my right is our brand new Centennial Tuba. The, the, the chest work for this was built right here in the San Diego area by L.W. Blackington. And the pipes came from Pipe Maker uh, back in Virginia, or Maryland, excuse me. Uh, the, uh, you can see the, for this chest, the wind is coming up from below us. Below us is where, if you've been on the tour, that's where all the fun stuff is of all the action. You go through the wind. Uh, air, air uh, lock and get into the 10 inch wind. The 10 inch wind is conveyed up in this to give wind to this. The centennial tuba, 10 inch wind is not enough, neither is 15, so it's on 30 inches of wind. And that is coming down from regulators on the roof, comes down and feeds into the chest. The centennial tuba is very, very loud, so we have earbuffs for hearing protection on top of earplugs. And uh, then it's really quite pleasant. The swell, um, with a, if you've been in the big wind chest, you see the great big regulator on the back wall, and there's no way to shake that to create a tremolo effect. So Austin came up with something using the Doppler effect, which is called a fan tremolo. For doing the overhead chests, we had to uh, modify what Austin did. We came up with a design somewhat based on Murray Harris, where a rotating paddle is over the pipes when they're playing. I can turn this on. And this creates the effect but borrows on the effect of when you hear a train coming, it's going woo as it goes by. This is called the Doppler effect. This is the same effect to create an undulation in the sound of the individual pipes. Thought you'd like to see a, a usual tuning device here is a tuning wand. Each pipe has a collar. The flue pipes have a collar at the top and you can tune them flat. You can tap them sharp. For little ones, there's a small area you can do, you can grab in this way and tap down too. The reed pipes have a little wire on them. I don't have a sample up here today, 
But that's how uh, the reed pipes with the scrolls at the top, you can see there's a wire down here at the bottom where it's tuned. So enough of the technical stuff. Let's go have a concert.
The early years of the 18th century mark the transition between the Austrian family rulers of the Spanish crown to the French Bourbon family. Anybody would assume that the French kings would bring French musicians and flood the Spanish scene with French influence, but instead they brought Italian musicians that were more the fashion of the time. The third of those rulers, Ferdinand VI, Fernando VI, married the uh, Portuguese princess Maria Barbara, whose music team included the very famous Italian keyboardist Alessandro Scarlatti. Scarlatti moved to Madrid and from there on he proved to be a very very influential figure in the Spanish music. Among his students the monk Antonio Soler wrote many sonatas that are really very much like, resemble uh, very much like those of Scarlatti. One of his most famous sonata, the Sonata de Clarines in C major, uh, it's called Clarines by the clarin, the brass instrument not because it's intended to be played with brass instruments, but because the music material, the elements, the motif, imitate those very typically performed with the brass instruments. In order to perform this beautiful and charming piece of music at the Spreckels organ, I have decided to use uh, the trumpets in our wonderful instrument here in Balboa Par to emphasize those motifs typical of the brass uh, instrument, the clarin. So please enjoy by Antonio Soler, his Sonata de Clarines in C major.
Spanish writer Jose Mas wrote a series of novels inspired by the Andalusian city of Seville in 1919, the so-called Sevillian novels, one of which, La Orgia, served as inspiration for Sevillian composer Joaquin Turina to write his three fantastic dances. The third of one, Orgia, titled after the novel, include the following words written by Jose Mas. First in Spanish, then in English. El perfume de las flores se confundía con el olor de la manzanilla y del fondo de las estrechas copas llenas del incomparable vino como un incienso se elevaba la alegría. Now in English. The perfume of the flowers blended with the smell of manzanilla and from the bottom of the narrow glasses filled of the unparalleled wine like an incense, joy was lifting up. The word, the Spanish word orgy or here is used in this context to describe a sensorial experience of beauty that overwhelm our senses and elevate our spirit. In this particular case, following the words by Jose Mas, is an experience of smell, taste, friendship, and joy. So I'm here standing in my favorite Andalusian spot in Balboa Park to invite all of you to join me in this journey to the Andalusian culture through the music of Joaquin Turina. So please let your senses be over overwhelmed and your spirit elevated.
during the second half of 19th century, France was struggling to get a concert organ while the number one uh, organ builder in the world, Cavalier Cole, with his uh, workshop in Paris, was selling and sending beautiful concert instruments all over the world from UK to Moscow. So that finally happened in 1878 for the Universal Exposition in Paris. There was going to be built, like always happening, a big central uh, hall called the Palais du Trocadero and a big organ was needed for that big concert hall. So it was the time for Cavalier Cole to build the first big concert organ ever built in France. For the opening concerts, most of the most uh, well-known composers and organists in France were invited to play, and one of them was definitely César Franck, the composer whose music I'm gonna perform for all of you right now. He uh, premiered his trois pieces, his three pieces for organ, the last of which has the title Pièce Héroïque, and is the one that I'm gonna uh, perform for all of you right now. Many of you already know this piece of music, but for those of you who are new to this kind of music, let me please give you some tips of what to listen for and how to drive your soul into this musical journey. Most of the time, the popular music, the music that we are more used to uh, in, as the popular culture of nowadays, are lyric-driven music. It's music written for lyrics, and what is the sound part, the sounding part, is mostly an accompaniment, some kind of uh, the decoration of the lyrics. There is not really much to say from a musical perspective, but the music in, in, in other periods of what we call classical music, which is not really the music from the classical period, is the music uh, from the entire history that we know music is written for. And this is music that actually explains a story without really the necessity, with the need, without the needs of lyrics. So how to open your soul to this journey, to this message, written in music, in sounds, without really lyrics that tell you what to listen for, or what's happening, is something that takes some training. And unfortunately, in our current society, that's not really mainstream. So that's why I'm very happy to provide you some tips and tricks on how to actually uh, listen to this kind of music. In this music, uh, the title says it's all, it's heroic. I like to present, when I teach this music to students, to present this as thinking about the Franco-Prussian war just around the time the music was performed, in which the French army lost to the Prussian army. And you can imagine Frank in Paris, in the Champs-Élysées scene, looking at all those French troops marching through Les Champs-Élysées with this kind of heroism and also mourning feeling because it's a heroic because they went to war to give their lives for France, but at the same time they lost and the majority of them were wounded or dead. So this idea also of mourning, of deeply sad feelings was in conflict and, and living together with the feeling of heroism. And those two contradictory feelings are part of this music. On one side, the theme from the beginning, you can listen to those repeated chords that are so insisting, those giving the feeling of the heroism of those young French giving their life for France, while at the same time, the melody that comes in my left hand in the bass has that kind of dotted rhythm, um, uh, yambic rhythm. Ta -ta -tan, ta -ta -tan, that gives that feeling of really the heroism. At the same time, the entire harmony, the color of the music, the mood, is extremely sad. That's the other part, that's the contradictory part to the heroism, the, the uh, mourning, the, the song for the dead. After the music, grows into a very, very dramatic climax, it comes down into a central part where a new melody appears. You need to pay attention to this new melody in the right hand. It's really a very pleasant, it's like music coming from heaven. It's the music of those who gave their life for France that now resides in heaven and are listening to the music from there. So that's the middle part of the music. After that beautiful heaven-like middle part, the feet take the, a very orchestral approach like the timpani. You can listen in the timpani that are actually uh, reminding all of you of the heroic and the sad part of the music that comes back one step at a time until a very strong moment where we are back 
uh, on the mood of the beginning again. There we have the initial melody, the sad and heroic at the same time melody that grows up and up until a very powerful climax, very dramatic, after which, surprise, the melody coming from heaven returns again, but now in a very flamboyant, in a very triumphal, very loud moment, which is really what closes this entire uh, journey for your soul. From the heroicism and the sad feeling, sad mood for those who lose uh, their lives for their country, up to the melodies coming from heaven for those lost souls of young uh, French uh, soldiers, up to a very triumphal uh, final, tri triumphal ending for all of them. So it's a very emotional piece of music, and I really these tips help you to understand it. So please enjoy.
Hello, my name is Manuel Aguilar, and I'm one of the trustees on the Sales and Development Committees of the Spreckles Organ Society. I want to say thank you for joining us for another online edition of the Spreckles Organ Concerts, performed here at the world-famous Spreckles Organ Pavilion in Balboa Park. We appreciate all of you from around the world joining in to see these concerts and to see the amazing performances and presentations by civic organist Raul Petro Ramirez and organ curator Dale Sorensen. If you are interested in supporting these online concerts and the work of the Spreckles Organ Society, we encourage you to visit our website at spreckelsorgan.org. We know public concerts will be quite a ways away, but until then, we hope you'll enjoy these concerts online with those closest to you. In the meantime, be safe, be well, and enjoy the show. Thank you. 